we have an exciting piece featuring... Welcome back today for another episode. I just wanted to start this off first off by saying Merry Christmas to all of you guys because this will obviously come out on Christmas Day for you guys. So I really hope you guys have a great Christmas today. Hope you guys are spending it with family. I hope you guys are remembering it's not about receiving gifts, it's about giving to other people. Um, I'm in the car right now with Gabriel. We're heading to the store because we, we have a, it's a crazy day, like, you know, it's Christmas Eve, it's a crazy day, I have to get a couple more presents, I'm headed to the store to get something for my sister, and then we're also, he's getting a grab bag gift for the yeah. party we're going to tonight, I'm getting one too, it's a $5 grab bag, but I was, I was saying, like, what do you get nowadays that's $5? Because that's the question of the day, it's a hard thing to find stuff for $5. Um, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not that serious, it's just, like, it's just kind of more for fun. But at the end of the day, we're gonna try and look for something. I think we might head to Target, because you know, Target's got more things than Walmart does. And I'm hoping we can find some stuff. I think it might be a little difficult, but whatever. If not, we'll just get a gift card. A dollar candy packet. A five dollar candy packet? Yeah, I don't know. That no, we don't want you something like that. Like we gotta do something. I wanna do something funny. Wait, look, do you wanna get like that would be ideal. If I could find like a funny gift for five dollars, that's what I would do. Well we're not getting those toys. Well, it's, it's more for adults. It's yeah. not really for kids anyways. It's more of an adult grab bag. Probably. Okay, so we're in that really cheap section of Target. You guys all know this section because there's not gonna be like anything else in the store that's $5 anywhere else. Um, so I found this. I think this will be fine. No, I found it. Well, yeah, he found it and he's like, you could just get this. This is actually a good thing. We looked around. There's not too many options, as you guys know. But I think this is good. I wanted to do something that's more like funny, like a funny joke, like something that'd be a funny gift, but I don't think there's gonna be anything for five dollars that I could do that's really funny. Like, you know, something sexual or just something in general. Also, I did get something else for my sister's family. I can't show you guys because they watch the vlogs and obviously if they see it, the gift will be spoiled. Even though the vlog will probably be up and they'll have already gotten the gift, I just wanna make sure, so I'm not gonna show you guys. But I can tell you guys tomorrow or the next day like everything and I got everyone because by then they'll all have it open, obviously. Oh my gosh, I remember my high school, they used to sell these. These were like the things that everyone would buy at lunchtime. I got money. Mambas, they're so good. They don't have the sour ones though. The sour ones are the really good ones. I don't know if you guys have ever had these, but if you haven't, try these someday. Get the sour ones though. And then what was cool is in every package, they would have like in the sour ones, only certain ones would have lemon, and that was like the good, good flavor you wanted to get. We got everything. Literally, we've only been in the store five minutes. This was a yeah. good trip. We got in and out. So he got this pillow. And we each got something in the um, one to five dollar section. Well, that's what the grab bag is supposed to be, five dollars. But that's a that's a pretty good, that's a good one. I do A pillow like for it's five like bucks. Comfy. I mean, I would put that on my bed at home. Yeah, I would open this my own gift if I could. I mean, that would match my whole bed set at home because my bed set's gray in California. Well, there's only one left. Should I go get it for my bed at home? No, I'm just Maybe kidding. You could. You could. No, it's not that serious. I could open yours and you could open mine. No, that would be cheating then. We can't do that. Here we have an exciting piece featuring. I can't see. Church starts in seven minutes. Everybody else in my family is there but me. We could probably make it. fun to try and find a parking spot oh my gosh I knew this was gonna happen I mean but you have to literally get here like two hours before the actual mass starts to even find a spot like my parents got here like an hour ago <sighs> the holidays man I'm telling you it's crazy all right worked out good literally only took me like five minutes so church is right there grocery store here I just parked here that's fine. All right, so it's about an hour later, actually a little less than an hour. That was a really fast mass in church. Uh, we're just leaving the church right now. It all went well. I, usually it's like more stressful, I feel like, because there's so many people, and I feel like it's always so hot in the church. 
but it really wasn't bad, so it all went well. How was it for and you? I was damn like always. It was good. <laughs> yeah, he wants to drive back home with me, uh, but I gotta run home really fast, get some things, and then we're gonna meet my family at my sister's for Christmas Eve. It's a tradition we have every year. We all go to my sister's for Christmas Eve, so we're gonna head there in a Last little bit. Last year it wasn't her house, it was... Um, my cousins? Well, yeah, my cousins used to host the Christmas parties, and then we changed it to my sister's house the last couple of years. All right guys, we've made it to the party here now. Uh, the whole family's just hanging out. Everyone's just kind of talking. Uh, so every year what we do is we have this, this whole entire platter full of like pepperonis, hams, uh, salami, cheeses. Because back when my grandpa was still alive, we had this there and so we kind of continued the tradition of my uncle every year kind of just makes it and brings it. It's just like a family tradition. What's going on down here? She's making me fly. Oh, okay. You guys are flying? She's making me fly, yeah. Wanna fly? Yeah. Up, up and away. <laughs> Dang, you guys got all the food out and everything. Eli's just sitting here taking food off the table and eating it. When is there not a lot of screaming in this household? That's the question of the day. No screaming, ma'am. Excited for Christmas? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I would say everyone is pretty excited. Look at all the screaming. <laughs> oh my. So these dudes are in here. They have all the dessert here. I don't know if this is all of it, but I think it is. Look at those. Look, I got a plan for us guys. Wait, come here. I got a secret plan. Come here. So since no one's in here, how about we just all take those cookies? We'll unwrap them and eat all of them. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we do it? Yeah. I mean, they're not gonna find out. <laughs> He's actually doing it. I'm just kidding. I wasn't being serious. <laughs> He's taking it. Hey, get back here with the cookies right now. Get back here. Don't you dare leave. So we just sat down to eat, and I guess, what are these beef sandwiches, right? Yeah. And then we got. We got a macaroni and cheese from Costco. They have the best macaroni, I swear. And then what is this? Like a weird marshmallow, marshmallow jello? Yeah. Wait, you made it, didn't you? Jello. <laughs> Wait, I need to try this to see. So I can judge it and be like, all right. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's try this. It better be good. Huh? Up there? Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Ooh, it's really good. It's, it's super sweet. I've never had this in my life. I need to eat this more often. You've never had it? Uh-uh. I don't think it's so. It's a staple at every party. Yeah. I know. I always see it and I feel like I, I just ne never have tried it. I don't know. So she just told me a really funny story and I'm going to tell her to repeat it because I just want you guys to hear it. Listen to this story. She's like, this is literally me as a parent someday. Okay. So I'm driving down through this little town, right? And the speed limit is 30. I don't go further. I'm not sure. I, I have a lead foot and I don't know. <laughs> so I'm tailgating this woman because her and another guy are having a turtle race and I my blood pressure goes sky high like I'm like in road rage mode I'm like oh my god I gotta get to Christmas Eve this is so, I finally get around her and then I get caught at the light anyways and you know everybody's laughing at me because they're like yeah you raced to the red light so literally I get to the light and she's telling me to roll down my window and she's telling me excuse me um, I live in this town and the speed limit is 30 and there's like a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other and the devil was telling me to say well my car doesn't go 30 lady. I don't do 30 but this little guy told me to say something nice because it's Christmas Eve and I said oh thank you very much and well my blood pressure was sky high and I rolled up my window and I kept driving I'm like I made her even more mad that I did that so yeah but that just proves and the girls are like why didn't you like yell at her I'm like, it's That's Christmas so Eve, I'm not gonna yell, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be the bigger I'm person. I'm gonna be the bigger person here and blow her off at the light. No. <laughs> Show her who's boss. No. That's <laughs> seriously me in a couple of years and I'm a her, I swear. Yeah. That's gonna it, be me. It's a serious problem. A lot of people have road rage though, like it's actually, it's a real thing. It is a real thing. I mean, sometimes I get I don't like want to kill anybody, I just want them to move out of the way. Yeah. Like, like, no, like, I have this thing, like, I want to be the first what are you one doing? to stop me. Yeah. I, I want to be the really? first one so I have a wide open, like I can I gun it and just yeah, go. I don't want to 
want to be stuck behind you, the slow ass. <laughs> What's funny though is that's me. Whenever people speed around me, I'm like, haha, you literally just got to the red yeah, light. Yeah. So me and Dan, I know. I know. Me and Dan, I'm one of those people. In the car, I will do it. In the car. Guys, this is the part where it gets really crazy in this house. Every year we do like gift trading where all of the cousins sit down, everyone just trades gifts, and we make piles. It just brings me back to my childhood so much. Like, I remember back when I was their age, and you'd just be so happy to be given like these presents. You'd sit down, they would take turns opening a present. That's what we try and do every year, but it usually doesn't work, so we'll see how we're gonna do it this year. Um, but just check out how crazy this is. Wait, it has a propeller on it. It does go in water. Dude, that's awesome. You gotta put that in the bathtub. That's so cool. Some kid toys amaze me nowadays at how they work. Like a legit has a propeller on the back of it. Those are dinosaur eggs? I thought dinosaurs were dead. She has one. She has one too? Yeah. Yeah, but the only problem is I thought dinosaurs were dead. Like a kitchen timer? You're telling me that dinosaurs are still alive? No. Oh, they're just pretend? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Every year we do, like the last two years we started doing Kahoot. As some of you guys know, I do Kahoot on my broadcast on you now. So I, every year it's a little bit different. I'm not sure who actually like organizes all the questions for it. I think it's just things mostly about like our family. Um, so I guess we're gonna try and do this and I, I forget who won last year. It was like crazy last year. So get your phone out, you're going to log in, and you're going to fight for the win. You just need your phone. What's the prize? <laughs> Alright guys, so join our Kahoot game right now, everybody in this vlog. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously the game will be done by the time you guys see this. i got to make a funny name. What should I make my name? I was thinking about doing this. <laughs> That's too savage. I can't make my name that. It's too bad. Alright, I got one. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Jennifer. Uh, he and uh, Jay are up in the Oh, yeah, we're in. Let's go. You gotta be able to see the screen. Pickle Warrior. Oh my god. Uh, so it'll give you the choices, and on your phone, you'll pick which answer is correct. Pickle Warrior. The first one is just a practice. Well, where do you put the answer? It'll, it'll pop up on your phone. So, like, it'll show you the question. My mom, you should know this. I do this in my broadcast sometimes. Come on. What's one plus one? This is how we're starting out? What is this quiz? Two steals per gift. Two steals per gift? Alright. What was it last year? What did we do last year? That's not fair. Didn't we do one last year? Wait, didn't we do one last year? I swear we did. Was it three? Yeah. Alright, so Jessica's up first. She's number one. She's picking her first gift. Oh, that looks like a good one. Moment of truth. What is it? What is Wait, what is that? Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a hardware oh. thing. Oh. Oh. You could really use that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, so we're on like number 11 right now. Oh. Oh. Barbecue 
sauce. Ooh. <laughs> Stole the barbecue sauce right from her. <laughs> Oh, he's, my dad stole it. All right, she's going back for round two. I think the rule should be the person can only be stolen from, right, Yeah. Can't stuff it up You have to choose me I know. Me and Lisa <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> a toilet. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's a toilet. <laughs> it looks like something you ash your cigarette in. It's a toilet. It's a toilet. A troll toilet. It's a troll. A troll. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Nice. Woo! Stainless steel folding utility knife. Oh! Ah! Don't put it in your luggage. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bring it on the carry on. Alright, Alexis is up. Here we go. Alexis, 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 keep the tag. The gnome tag. I want it. Yeah. Alexis, you want to This is your gift, then? Yes. <laughs> Just give yourself away. Take it all out. I can't. Oh, what's in there? It's in there. It's in there. Uh oh. You have a chance to get it. Ooh, yeah. Some pasta. Heck yeah. Some cheese. Oh, he's stealing again? Oh. Oh. Hand it up. <laughs> So my dad got stolen from, so then he gets to go again. So then he stole from somebody else. Yeah, there's, two, yeah, there's like two barbecue sauce gifts. So he just stole two barbecue sauces. Oh, she's stealing now too. All right, everyone's stealing now. Yeah, cheeses. You know how to cook. Take the troll toilet. No. The troll lit. The troll lit. The troll lit. Troll lit. Troll lit. Alright, let's see what Gabriel gets. Moment of truth. It's so quiet all of a sudden. It just got really quiet. I'll take it. I'm stealing from you when it's my turn. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm gonna get that barbecue sauce. <laughs> He's snooping around. He stalks his prey. He goes down. He walks away. The pressure is on. You've been looking for five minutes. Your time is up, sir. There's only a one minute. Hey, there's only a one minute time of picking. You passed the minute. Your time's up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, he steals it. Now it's my turn to steal from him. One minute. Yeah, let's start a timer on someone's phone. Next next year, one minute, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting next year. Yeah, next year. We're gonna start making rules and regulations yeah. from now on. <laughs> they won. We won only five. Don't get to Oh, uh, it's only five bucks? So you made your money back. Alright, hold on. We still didn't get there's eight. more A's. No way. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Three words for five dollars. A. A. Do you get another A. 
A again. That's What's weird is I feel like the cheapest so lottery tickets always win. Wait, no, 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 hang on. Wait, you won 10 it now? It has to be per thing. So if we have three words here and three words here, oh. then it's $10. But hold on. We got the, where's the S at? Oh gosh, I think they won again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, you won 10 now? No, wait, hang on. We still don't know for sure. I haven't added it up, but. I feel like I would get really confused with this. Okay, so there's one word. Yeah. Two words. Mm -hmm. Three words. It's weird. Uh -huh. The cheapest lottery tickets always win. So if you guys are planning to go out and buy a lottery ticket ever, a misconception is people will think that the $20 tickets, the $15 tickets, are always going to be the ones that win just because they're more expensive. Now, it's like anything in life. More of the risk you take, the bigger of the gamble you win, if that makes sense. It's the same exact thing when you're gambling in Vegas or any casino. The more money you put down, the more chance you have of winning, but the jackpot is going to be higher. So what's weird is like on lower, cheaper tickets, like dollar lottery tickets, five dollar tickets, it seems like, because all the people I've seen that have ever gotten them have won. At least like a dollar or a couple dollars or five or even like ten. It's because I remember this one year, somebody in my family, we bought him like a hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets and they were all like five dollar ones and he ended up winning like a couple hundred dollars I think. It was crazy. But as you guys know, a few days ago in the episode, we all went Christmas caroling outside. So they're all doing it inside now, but we're already like ahead of them because we already did this. Jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the Shout anything out? Um, oh, my cousin um, doesn't believe that Dan's my cousin, so <laughs> he wants to know. That's awesome. All right, guys, so we just got home right now. Family party is amazing. Uh, I feel like always, it's always so much fun hanging out with the cousins and everybody. Uh, Gabriel's over here looking at Santa Tracker. Man, I think he's, I, he's gonna I think I used to watch this site back when I was young too. I think it's the exact same site. He's still in Canada, but he's delivered five million. Um, presents and a little over. Um, Look at that then, number just go up by the second. And That's then crazy. And will be in Michigan in 1 minute and 54 seconds. So you gotta go to bed too or you're gonna see Santa. I mean, you're still up. You're not sleeping. So he's not coming anytime soon. Rudolph! It's Rudolph. That's so cool how they, they do that. They actually have Rudolph. Cause look, He's in Thunder one, two, Bay, three, Ontario. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, what do you think? They're going to have a site with illegitimate amount of reindeer? Of course they're going to have the right amount. Reindeer? There's seven reindeer, right, Mom? 
No, but they're gonna have, oh, you guys even have, they, look at this, they got the cookies out, the carrots out, the milk. Santa better be thirsty, because we got a lot of milk in here. They're all writing notes for Santa, too. What did you guys write in your notes to Santa? Um, a box, so I don't have to clean up. A box you don't have to clean up? Wait, let's no. read Julian's. No, this is mine. So, a robot, so I don't have to clean up. Oh, a robot. All right, well, let's read Gabriel's first. Dear Santa, thank you so much for coming. Merry Christmas. Questions I have. How do you fly? How do you bring presents to kids all around the world in only a night? Uh, number three, about how many kids do you have? Number four, what's your favorite kind of cookie? Five, how many presents are made in a year? Six, how are you doing? Thanks again. Merry Christmas. Bye. You are the best. Thanks. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, you wrote even more? My Christmas list. Apple laptop, GoPro, camera, and iPod touch. You got a big list. You don't have to set all of those would make me happy. That's so, that's a crazy list. Yeah, I'm doing that. Well, you don't have I'm to doing, get all of those. I'm doing a camera and a phone. Maybe. That's what you want? Just a camera. Yeah, but the thing is, is Santa's already on his way. So if you didn't make the list earlier, that means he can't change his mind. He's already in there with the presents. I'm just telling him some of the stuff. It's okay if he doesn't give me everything I want. Hey. Okay. Out, Ella. Okay. Just I have to get a couple Ellie. stuff that I want. A couple things? What if there's nothing? I don't care. That is going to do it for today's episode. I just wanted to say, though, I hope you guys all had a great Christmas Eve today. And I hope you guys spent time with family and you remembered it's not about receiving gifts. It's about giving to other people. Even if it's not you buying something, just creating something, it's the thought that counts. Like always, though, I love you guys. Have a great day. Be you. Be awesome. Be grateful. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's actually a special day. Well, not today physically, because today is the 23rd, but when you guys see this episode, it'll be the 24th. So I want to start this off a 